Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today um, and Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, we're going to give it a second to just allow a couple more participants to join um, and then we'll get started. But if you are here, if you can just let me know in the chat what organization you're representing or you can just give me a thumbs up just so I know you all can hear me as well. Um, we'll get started in a second. Thanks. Hmm, my chat is not working. Um, are you all able to just put into the Q&A if you can hear me? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, cool. So we will get started. I don't know why my chat isn't working, um, but we can stick with Q&A for now. Cool. Um, alrighty, so thank you everyone again for joining us. Happy New Year. Um, hope you all had a wonderful holiday break, if you had a holiday break. Um, so uh, welcome to the Give Back Tahoe Post webinar. My name is Sarah. I'm a project manager for Give Back Tahoe um, from Mighty Cause. I want to let everyone know that this webinar is going to be recorded. So if you do need to leave or if you want to share this with another nonprofit who wasn't able to attend today, you can always send them the link. It'll be posted to our nonprofit toolkit on the Give Back Tahoe website. So today we have just a super short um, but pretty informative webinar. We're going to talk through just pretty much how to close the loop on this year's giving event with your donors, um, review how you can continue connecting with your donors even after the event, and how you can continue using the Give Back Tahoe platform on a year-round basis, which is really cool. Um, so we will get started. Um, Alrighty. Uh, so quick look at the agenda today, as you can tell, um, we're going to go through just a bunch of different kind of ideas for you all. We'll discuss disbursement dates. If you do have questions, if you can stick to the q and I'm not sure why my chat isn't working, um, but we'll get those answered for you as we go along. Alrighty, so giving day follow up. Um, so since this year's event is complete, this is the perfect time to start to consider your follow up for your post event if you haven't already done so. Um, I mean, the event kind of the challenge ended on the 13th, but the event went through the end of December. So now everyone's kind of getting back into the swing of things. Um, when you are considering follow up, you're definitely going to gonna want to go beyond the platform tools um, and the automated thank yous that go out to the donors when they make their donations. So if you haven't already start to plan your thank yous, we always suggest things like making a video or sharing kind of a photo of your staff, something that has like a bit more of a personal touch to it can go a long way when you're uh, thanking your donors. So when thanking donors and continuing communication, you'll want to also start to talk about the impact of the funds that you raised during your campaign um, to help kind of close the loop on what you were fundraising for. So basically, if you were fundraising for something specific, if you needed a new piece of equipment or if you were, you know, fundraising for um, like, like changes to your building or anything like that, you'll want to let donors know how you did uh, and where you stand with your goal. Like, did you meet your goal? Um, did you come close to your goal? Either way, you're going to want to update them and send them thank yous, um, let them know that everything they did, whether that was peer to peer fundraising for you, whether it was making donations or sharing um, with emails or so through social media with friends, all of that really helps contribute to your success this year. Um, and then also periodically updating these same donors on your progress throughout the year is going to help foster those donor relationships. Um, you don't want to just kind of end the event and close the door and say see you next year. You want to definitely bring them into your family at your nonprofit um, and kind of keep them in the loop so that they can hopefully keep you know supporting you. So to start you're going to want to download your donation report from this year's event so within your organization profile, you can view your donation report and your disbursements. 
It's super easy. If you do need help, you can always reach out to support at mightycause.com. Uh, but you can download a very detailed donation report and a spreadsheet um, through your organization profile. This way you can start, you know, pulling this information, sorting it, um, grouping people, maybe by different gift amounts, however you kind of go through and organize your data post event. Um, you can also select, of course, custom timeframes and pull any types of donation reports year round, uh, since your profile is available to you on a year round basis for Give Back Tahoe. Um, within this, you're going to organize your donor info into whatever kind of client management platform you use. So if you have MailChimp, um, you'll want to start to kind of take a day or however much time you need to really sort through, tag different kind of groups, um, and add in any new donor emails and addresses that you received. So uh, you most likely did receive a couple new donors. Um, so then also kind, kind of starting to think through post follow-up strategy specifically for these new donors is going to be really important. Um, so like I said, just coming up with like a special and separate plan for new donor outreach. If you have new donors who gave during the event, you're going to want to make sure you have a special onboarding plan, make them feel seen, consider mailing them a welcome packet as a fun way to get onboarded. Um, you can give them a newsletter, a handwritten card from some staff members, maybe your board members uh, want to write thank you notes. That might be a cool little thing they can do. Um, but basically just kind of figuring out a journey in place for new donors. Um, and overall, just thinking and appreciating your donors is going to be absolutely essential in your donor retention. So we all kind of know this, but it helps to reiterate that it costs less for you to retain an existing donor than it does to acquire a new one. You'll know how much time and effort goes into trying to find new donors. Um, so when you do get new donors, big pat on the back, make sure they feel seen, appreciated and valued. Um, not just after they make their gift, but just on an ongoing basis so that they are more likely to stick around with your organization long term. Um, and then, of course, I also want to mention uh, this last kind of note is just taking the time to meet with your team internally, whoever that might be, whether it's your board, whether it's just you and another team member, or maybe it's just you just sitting down and kind of thinking overall, how did your organization do this year? What did you find successful? What would you definitely change for next year? Um, it's a great time to also just see if your goals were, um, were you able to just reach your goals at all? Were you close to them? Did you kind of shoot too high? This is a really good time to just kind of gauge what you want to do differently next year or keep the same because everything is so fresh for you. Um, so definitely take a day, sit down, comb through what happened uh, and make any changes as needed. Um, okay, so reports and disbursements, you can see here uh, kind of a schedule for when you can plan to receive funds donated to you during the event. In general, our electronic dispersals are coming through Mighty Cause and they're happening twice a month on a consistent schedule of the 10th and the 25th of each month. Um, if you are not set up with EFT, checks are going to be dispersed on the 10th of the following month for any donations that are made during the previous month. So anything that came in during December will be dispersed in the following month in January if you have checks set up. Um, the check is going to be mailed to your legal mailing address listed in your organization profile. So if you do need to make any changes before um, you know this coming date, you can see the address that you have on file within your settings and then your organization profile. Um, if you need to update anything, you can always reach out to Mighty Cause support team as well. Um, and then also a note on prize disbursements uh, from Give Back Tahoe. Those can be expected to be sent out sometime around mid-January for you all. Um, alrighty, so for continuing the momentum, we want to definitely reiterate that you all have access to your Give Back Tahoe platform your organization page all year round. So if you don't have another fundraising site or maybe you really liked um, just you know using your Give Back Tahoe page, uh, you can continue to use this um, just by you know being registered for Give Back Tahoe. So uh, by being part of Give Back Tahoe, you have access to all of what we call the Mighty Cause Essential Features um, plus an Opportunities tool, which you'll see on the next page. Uh, but if you're thinking about, you know, like switching to just using Give Back Tahoe, something that you can always tell your board uh, is that this 
This what is available to you on a year round basis is a $59 a month value. Um, so you get everything here that you see checked um, on the right, uh, just by being a part of Give Back Tahoe, which is pretty fantastic. Um, you can always, you know, continue to utilize these tools, you can continue to take in donations um, and, you know, use whatever is available to you to continue your fundraising outside of the event. Um, of course, the reporting is always available to you. Um, so if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to support. We can always, you know, set up a free demo for you if you want to look at um, like more advanced features. If there's something that you need integrated with, like Salesforce or what have you. Um, but you do want to note that once since Give Back to Ho has concluded, the fee structure changes slightly. Um, it switches to the standard rate of 4% platform fee and 2.9% plus 30 cent credit card fee on all donations. Um, but donors do continue to have the option to still cover the fees during their checkout process. Um, so, like I said, post event is an excellent opportunity to kind of look through um, all the features that maybe you didn't use, maybe you didn't get a chance to do a lot of peer to peer fundraising. Um, go ahead and, you know, try it out during the off season, so to speak, um, so that you feel more prepared to try peer to peer fundraising during Give Back Tahoe next year. Um, and of course, I circled volunteer uh, and opportunities tool as well. Um, all of our Give Back Tahoe nonprofits have access to the opportunities tool. This means you can post just all of your volunteer opportunities or special events that your organization is hosting. Um, some of you are already using this feature, but for others, this is a good time to also, you know, take a breather, start to look through this tool, start to see if this is useful and helpful for you. Um, and on this note, this year, for the first time, there was a question in the donation form that asked donors if they would like to receive more information regarding volunteer opportunities from your org um, if they were donating to you. So they also, if they check that box, um, they had an option to pledge a certain number of hours for the upcoming year, which a lot of donors did take advantage of. Um, so you can find out which donors check this box for your organization by downloading your complete donation report from this year's event. So you just need to go to your organization page, click reports, um, and then all donations, download your full donation report. And on the very right column, there is a column, I think it says volunteer interest, and it will say yes next to the donor. So you can sort that column. Um, and then some of them, it was optional, but some of them did pledge a certain number of hours, like they wanted to do 20 hours. Um, so now is just the perfect time with the new year and people setting resolutions and new goals. Reach out to these uh, individuals um, by email or giving them a direct call if you have their phone number. And just like talk next steps, see what their what their you know ability is to if you have on site kind of volunteer opportunities or remote volunteer opportunities, um, and then of course start to create actual volunteer opportunities on your organization page. Um, so these you can always link to your page. Once you create a volunteer opportunity, it'll show up as a little kind of tile that someone could click on and register to attend. Um, it's super easy. You'll just go to your fundraising tools and then opportunities um, and then the little plus sign create an opportunity and then you can kind of see this example that Caroline put together of um, like different funder, uh, volunteer opportunities. So you can have the location be in person, you can have it be kind of an online type of meeting. Um, there's a lot of flexibility with this. If you have an Eventbrite type of registration form that you need to link to, you can add that. Um, the great thing is that all of these volunteer opportunities, they're very customizable, but they all are in one place. Um, so you can, you know, fill those out. And then I know Caroline, um, they're also trying to, uh, you know, send out and share these volunteer opportunities with their network. So uh, make sure you get these posted because they are looking for opportunities to share with um, their you know, database of donors. Um, so if you have any questions on this, you can let me know, but I, I believe it's pretty straightforward and you can always also reach out to support. Uh, but it's fun to play around with. There's, you can add like a photo and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, and then also anything you post here that's a volunteer opportunity, donors are able to, um, when they're looking for organizations, they can go to the search on Give Back Tahoe and they can sort um, by 
organizations that have active volunteer opportunities. So it's just another cool way to get more visibility um, in a different outlet for donors. Um, and then the last thing I believe is the feedback survey. So that is on the front page of the uh, event. And there's a little button that says survey. We would love to just hear your feedback, different things that you thought went well. If there's you know content or trainings that you would love to benefit from next year, if you wanna just learn more about matching grants, um, or if you're just curious about how to communicate with donors or a timeline of communication, we just would love to hear what you all are interested um, so we, that we can help support and you know help you reach your goals each year that you participate. Um, so yeah, please definitely take the survey. Um, and then of course, also support from Mighty Cause is available to you all year round. You have access, of course, to Give Back Tahoe and your organization page year round. Um, so we are here for you. So if you need to be directed to anything, we have a ton of great blog posts. Now is an excellent time to also kind of dig through different blog posts. Um, we have different, I don't know, just a ton of like pre-recorded webinars that you can check out um, if you wanna do some trainings. Um, and of course, we're always here to chat. So if you just have a question, you can just reach out to support at minicons.com. Um, so if you do have any questions, I'd be happy to take those now or else you can digest this material. Um, I always tend to talk too fast on webinars. <laughs> So if you do think of any questions, let me know. I'll wait here for a minute um, or else I will upload this to the toolkit and you all can always reach out to us at support. Ready? I don't see any questions coming through. Well, I want to wish you all just a huge congratulations. I know how much work um, goes into these types of events, and I know how hard you all work in the lead up. Um, so hopefully you get to take a breather. Um, and just congratulations to you and all of your teammates. Uh, Happy New Year. Right, bye.